The newest Tempest Trials entitled Less Than and Heroic is here and has brought along some grand rewards if you're willing to grind for it. Now you will get a ton of shards and crystals, but I know that's not what everyone is doing it for. What's most important is that you can get up to 42 orbs if you grind all the way to the end. If you need feathers, then you can get up to uh, 10,750, not including the rank rewards which grant a ton more if you score pretty high. Last but not least, you can also earn 80 sacred coins and you don't even need to get that high of a total score to earn all of them. Next, we get 3 new sacred seals and remember you will not be able to craft these so if you want them, you better make sure you nab them before it's over. First we have Savage Blow at 12,000 points, next is Hone Speed at 20,000 points, and finally we have Close Defense at 40,000 points. All of these are pretty solid and they, were, they are all seal versions of existing skills so no major surprises here. Lastly, you can get Joshua, the Tempest King, at both a 4 star and 5 star version. He is quite good in my opinion and he can actually utilize a multitude of builds. Just some notes on the 3 Sacred Seals, a Savage Blow Sacred Seal means you can now run double Savage Blow skills if you want for a hefty 14 AoE damage around the unit. That's quite substantial, especially for the heroes with less than 40 HP. One thing I am personally keeping an eye out for is for when Jafar gets his upgrade for his Deadly Dagger. Depending on what kind of special skill he gets, maybe Jafar can become the Deadly Assassin he was meant to be. If there's every way to allow damage outside of combat to kill a unit, then I can actually think a double Savage Blow with Poison Strike build can be viable. Hone Speed is a very simple buff and honestly one of the best ones of that. Speed is a very important stat in this game and being able to let anyone buff up speed is always useful. Remember, you cannot stack Hone Speed skills so please do not try it. However, something crazy I think could work is using Hone Speed as your Sacred Seal and then using Spur Speed or Drive Speed as your C skill. Then you can grant allies even more speed and I think I may do that for my Erica if I can ever get some Drive Speed fodder. Last we have Close Defense, the melee counterpart to Distant Defense. Now for melee frontline units, Close Defense is very good especially for enemy phase tanks like Lucas or any of the armored heroes. It even buffs your resistance in case they have to fight dragons for usually good counters to high defense heroes. Just like distant defense, you honestly cannot go wrong using close defense, and it may be a worthy tier 3 upgrade. Oh boy, I am excited to get Joshua. Sacred Stones was my first game and trying to recruit Joshua was a nightmare for my kid brain, so I'm glad he's a free unit in heroes. So Joshua has the highest base stat total in the game for infantry, and yes he actually beats out Ira in that regard. Sadly, Joshua's stats are not tailored for a high offensive playstyle and are actually incredibly balanced. From a glance, he seems to be quite tanky and for comparison, he is only one of only 3 units who can have 30 or more defense and resistance if you equip his legendary sword, Arhuma, which grants plus 5 resistance. 35 speed is obviously not bad at all, but it doesn't reach crazy high levels you'd expect from a swordmaster type unit. 31 attack is alright, but with a 16 might weapon, he won't have too many problems dishing out damage. Speaking of damage, Joshua's Odd Huma is a 16 might killing edge that grants plus 5 resistance. This means he should have no troubles proccing specials, and I think it's a good legendary weapon overall. He comes with Moonbow by default, which will be on a 1 cooldown thanks to Odd Huma. Now, for passive skills, Joshua comes with close defense and wind sweep. Looks a little weird at first, but if you face them in the paralogue maps then I kind of see what his base kit can do. With 35 speed, Joshua should be able to proc wind sweep and get free hits in most of the time. Then when the enemy attacks, he will get a defensive boost from close defense and he should be able to kill his attackers and even get off some double attacks. In the paralogue, he came with speed smoke as his C skill and that makes a lot of sense since other units around may attack Joshua. However, with a minus 7 speed debuff, Joshua should have no problem dub doubling most units and definitely should be able to survive almost every encounter. Of course, with his very interesting stat line, you can completely change out his kit for something you like better. So this is a pretty good Tempest Trials overall. Everyone should have access to at least one bonus unit since every Choose Your Legends hero is on the bonus units list. Brave Ike is also a 40% bonus unit, and he is great for Tempest Trials thanks to Steady, uh, steady Breath and Aether keeping him healthy. There are some very nice Sacred Seals available, and I want to emphasize again that you cannot create these from the Sacred Seal Forge. They have said that all Sacred Seals not on the base crafting list will not be or, or will only be available as rewards. So if you miss them, you might have to wait till they do another Tempest Trials mini, which gave out old Sacred Seals people might have missed. 
Joshua is a solid unit reward, and I think he is second behind the Black Knight as one of the best Tempest rewards. His insane stats mean he can be built in some very interesting ways, and I look forward to how people decide to build him out. Some examples could be a double close defense build, or even using distant counter to take advantage of his pretty good resistance stat. I hope you guys enjoyed this short discussion video for the new Tempest Trials. I am really excited to get Joshua and you can bet I am planning to make a video about him before the, all the new update stuff comes in. Remember, the Legendary Hero Fest starts in about one week from today this video is posted, so if you want more orbs you better start farming early since we will also be busy doing the new story maps and quests. I'll see you guys in my next Fire Emblem Heroes guide.